Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Stone and welcome to my channel Accelerate and in this week's episode I'm very excited to show you guys how we're going to go and count and sum values based on their colors or the cell colors. So this is not a built-in function by Excel, so we're going to build our own functions. But before we get into this, remember to hit this little subscribe button and share this video uh, to your friends for more Excel awesomeness. Right guys, so with this data range that I've got here is I've got sales from January up until December. And based on a few conditions, so if it's more than 200, I want to show uh, green. If it's between 100 and 200, I want to show yellow. And if it's less than 100, I want to show red, for conditional formatting wise. And now with the additional functionality is we can count the the cells that has a green background. So it is free, so it counts free and the sum as well. So this is really awesome. So if we're going to change this January to let's say 190 it enters it's going to show yellow and it updated so it picks up the extra yellow and it sums and it deducts the green it shows two where it was free previously and it deducts so this is quite awesome functionality so you will see there's the function that we're going to do and this is awesome so guys let's get straight into this one I'm going to go exit this spreadsheet and we're going to start off with this blank file. So you can get this practice file down in the descriptions below so we can start off on the same page or you can just copy and paste or copy this into a new spreadsheet and go on as soon as you've completed it. So let's start off with the conditions. So in my data set, I want if it if this data set is more than 200, I want to show it green. So I'm going to just highlight this green here. If it's between 100 and 200, I want to show yellow and if it's less than 100 I want to show red so this is the basic color scheme you can do it with which color you want with your data sets I'm going to highlight D2 to D4 control C and I'm going to go to D7 in my conditions control V so this is just my color schemes and let's get straight into the conditional formatting I'm going to highlight B2 to B13 I'm going to click on home and conditional formatting we're going to do a new rule here so with my rule it's based on a formula so it's going to show equals click on b2 you're going to take away the dollar sign before the b if it is more than 200 i want it to format to a certain color i'm going to click on fill and i'm going to fill it with the green that corresponds with my color scheme in the background i'm going to say okay here there we go, OK, and you will see it highlights the free ranges that's more than 200. I'm going to do the same with the amounts between 100 and 200. So I'm going to go conditional formatting, new rule. We're going to go user formula. This is a little bit different. We're going to say equals and because there's two variables in this case. Open up. We're going to click or the, open up the parentheses. We're going to click on B2. Take away the dollar sign before the B. If it is more than or equals 100 comma you're going to click on b2 once again remember to take away the dollar sign or if it is less than or equals 200 and we're going to close the parentheses and we're going to format this to show yellow i'm going to say okay all right and you will see it applies it to those ranges so it's only the free left for the red you can say conditional format we're going to go new rule we're going to go with a formula and you guessed it we're going to go equals b2 and remember to take away that dollar sign otherwise it's going to be absolute values if it's less than 100 please format that to it shows red all right okay and there we go that's applied so let's test it if it, this is 101 it should still show yellow it does and if it shows uh, 90 it should show red perfect guys that's awesome so this, the conditional formatting is is working and now for the awesome functionalities that we're going to build into this so guys please go and grab cheat sheet number one down below in the descriptions i'm going to quickly go grab this one there's my cheat sheet i'm going to open up the cheat sheet you're going to hit Control a to select all the code it's it's not too many lines of code you're going to say control C to copy that in and we're going to go back into our Excel formula here uh, and we're going to go to a developer tab. If you don't have this developer tab open yet, quick fix, you go to file, options, 
We're going to go to customize the ribbon and you're going to make sure that your developer tab is ticked on here and you're going to hit OK. So let's go with the developer tab. We can go with Visual Basic and this opens up our interface and we're going to insert two modules. Let's go for the first module. You right click here. You're going to say insert a module. So in this module, we remember we already copied cheat sheet one. So you click on the open space, control V. So this gives us the function count condition condition color cells. So this is the function that we put in. We're going to also go and insert the second module. You're going to right click and insert another module. So in module two, we're going to quickly go grab cheat sheet number two down below. So I've also left it for you guys there. So I'm going to quickly go out of my user interface, cheat sheet number two, and this is the sum code. So we're going to hit control A to select all the code, control C, and we're going to go back into our visual basic interface and you're going to see it control V to copy everything in. So now module one is the account and module two is the sum. That's it. That's all the code that we need for this. So we can go out of the user interface. I'm going to go back into my Excel here. And now this is quite awesome, guys. Now, just as if you're putting in a normal function like a equal sum or equals count with this one, you're going to say equals count and you're going to see this nice count conditional formatting cells function popping up. So you can just hit tab and there it is. We've, we've programmed this function in. So you're going to choose the range. So we start off with the range from B2 up until B13. And then also you can hit comma and then it should be D7. So D7 is our where it references its color from and you hit enter. And here you go, see guys, it counts it the two there. That's perfect. So now if we want to drag this formula down, very, very uh, important. We need to make B2 to B13 absolute values. So in front of B2, you can hit either A4 or you can say Shift 4 to put in the dollar signs before the B and the 2 and before the B and the 13 to lock in that range. And now you can drag the, the formula down and there we go. We're going to put in a little sum here. So equals sum in uh, E10 and it should sum and we should be ending up with a 12 because we've got 12 months in this data range. And the same with the sum, we're going to say equals sum. And if you look closely, we've got a sum conditional color cells function that we've built in via VBA. Double click on that bad boy and you're going to highlight your range. We're going to do the condition, uh, the absolute cells, control four before the B and the two, before the B and the 13 as well. Comma, it should be D7, the color where it references it from, hit enter, and there it puts in the sum. So let's test it. If we're going to highlight B4 and B8, it indeed gives us four, 436 there. And now we can drag down the formula. And if we drag the sum here, it should balance back to our data range here. And let's do a final test. If January goes above 200, 205, it indeed adds the free, it adds the sum, it deducts the red, and we're still balancing. Guys, what an awesome video. It, it's so awesome to build your own functions in, in Excel. And guys, if you love this video, hit on that like button, click on the subscribe button, and I'm going to bring you more Excel awesomeness. From myself, Stone and Accelerate, see you next time. Cheers.